In the Advanced Textiles Research Group at Nottingham Trent University in the United Kingdom, one key area of research interest is into the development of electronic textiles, or e-textiles. We mostly focus on developing e-textiles for healthcare, well-being and personal protective applications. One technology that we use to create these e-textiles is called electronic yarn technology. Here we can take any small-scale electronic component, embed this within a yarn, and then use this to create a textile or a garment. We're now going to see a few examples of prototypes that we've created using the yarn technology. One of the applications we have developed is an overstock for full, near fall and ADL detection, ADLs being activities of daily living. It was originally developed for older people as a risk assessment for falls. So because it can detect near falls, that being imbalances that people can correct, it can be used as a risk assessment tool for falls. So within this stock there is an IMU e yarn, an IMU being an inertial motion unit, and that detects for motion. And we've used a machine learning algorithm for the classification of falls, near falls and ADLs. Skin temperature is an important physiological measurement. This sock has been developed with six discrete temperature sensors for monitoring foot temperature. The sock was developed to monitor the skin temperature of the foot in cold and wet environments to guard against non-freezing cold injury, commonly known as the trench foot. By monitoring the temperature continuously, it is hoped that the injury can be prevented. This would have applications for military and some outdoor pursuits such as mountaineers. This sock transmits data to another device using Bluetooth. So this technology could be embedded into any garment and we have used this for other skin temperature sensing applications. So another sensing application is acoustic sensing. So here we've taken a small scale microphone and embedded it into a yarn and subsequently put it into a textile. So as you can see, we have a textile swatch with an acoustic sensor. Um, like everything we've developed, it's very deformable. Applications for this may include noise monitoring. So for people that are working in very loud environments, such as construction workers and people that work on stages. Um, another application could just be to monitor sound. So this can record voice just like a normal microphone. It is important to communicate sensor data to the user. So we have created a haptic yarn. This is the glove with integrated haptic yarns to assist individuals with deaf blindness. Placing four actuators on the proximal phalanges of the finger allows for signal stimulation while minimizing interference with daily activities and electronic components, ensuring the VR comfort. The detachable control system enhances the washability and the wireless design enable the stimulation of daily activities, including replicating vehicle turning signals and hazard notifications. Wearable electronics and other portable devices need the power supply to operate. To get rid of the bulky uh, batteries, if we can get the energy from the solar under the environment, it would be much more easier. So we are working on solar energy harvesting system. As you can see, this, uh, this swatch has 300 solar cells embedded inside the fabric and it's foldable, it's scalable, we can use it for other purposes to make a garment, a, a t-shirt uh, with solar cells that can act as a power supply for your portable electronic devices. So we've just looked at five electronic textiles created using Eon technology. This includes three sensing devices, a device capable of haptic feedback, and a device embedded with solar cells that could power any textile system. This is only some of what we can do with this technology, as ultimately we can embed any kind of small-scale electronic component, creating a textile that's and comfortable for a user to work.